Hello there, everybody. My name is Casey. You may know me as Acer from TikTok, but today I'm going to be teaching you how to build a Y-Wing in Minecraft. First up, you're definitely going to want to grab these blocks, the polished andesite assortment, as well as some stone bricks and some gray stained glass. As you'll see here, I've already started the cockpit for you. It is a 2x4 polished andesite slab base, and then to the sides of it on both edges, we have some polished andesite stairs and then uh, one block in the front. Okay, now it's a good time to start paying attention. So I'm going to begin utilizing some polished andesite blocks and stairs. Uh, j just to kind of give it that rounded feeling in the front as best you can, at least in Minecraft. Continuing to use the stairs to give it a rounded feeling, we're going to now take out the blocks, stretch it to the back of the rectangle, and then in the middle, it should be two blocks and one slab in height. All right, now we begin work on the window. With the blocks and the slabs, you're going to do this pattern and then grab your gray stained glass and create a two by two box. And in the next few moments, just make sure you pay attention to get the next few steps down. We're going to be using polished andesite blocks as well as stairs and slabs on the top. Okay, so it should look something like this right about now. The cockpit is just about finished, aside from a couple of details that we're going to add later, but it should look something like this. And remember to pause or, you know, stop the video if you need any time to, you know, focus on any given aspect of the build. So right now we're just using the polished andesite slabs to give it a more, you know, rounded out look. Uh, we're going to take some yellow carpet as well to give it the paint job that the Y-Wings have, uh, and then it should look like this. All right, and as we fly around, you'll see all of the other stuff that I've built. My Star Destroyer, the TIE Fighters, X-Wings. We got a Sarlacc pit at the bottom there. Over there is the start of my Tantive IV. Uh, but next up, we're going to, you know, take the stone bricks, fill in the back of the front area, and we're going to outstretch 11 blocks in length. So this is from the block that's just above the slab that you placed, and it's going to look something like this. Uh, we're going to, of course, bring it all the way back on the other side as well. Okay, and coming up, you're going to notice that I actually do take a moment to just go back and count the blocks to make sure I didn't overshoot or undershoot the total length that I was supposed to reach. Uh, a lot of times, this is one of the biggest problems I have when I'm trying to recreate something is I'll, I'll make one aspect of the build either too long or too short. All right, now that we've confirmed it's the correct length, four blocks out from the cockpit of the ship, you're going to want to take your stone bricks again and extend this rectangle. Okay, now we're going to make sure that the connection between the cockpit and the back of the ship is nice and smooth. So using your stone bricks and your polished andesite stairs, do this. And then grab your stone brick slabs and cover the top part of the rectangle that you've just created. You're going to want to exclude the front and back corners. Uh, I messed up there, but we'll fix that in a bit. So exclude the corners. Okay, we're going to do the exact same thing on the bottom of the ship, except this time make sure you start your slabs just two blocks away from the cockpit. It should look something like this. Okay, we're going to do another quick fly around just to make sure that everybody's caught up and has all the steps accomplished to this point. Uh, again, if you need to pause the video, please do so. Okay, our next step is to create a 3x3 stone brick box, which is offset one block from the back of the frame you've just created. We're going to repeat this on the other side as well. Double check to make sure that these boxes you're making are in fact offset one block from the back of the frame. As you'll see here, I'm actually fixing the mistake that I mentioned earlier. Alright, so now the frame of the ship is pretty much finished. We're going to start with the engines next. Okay, using the polished andesite blocks, you're going to want to outstretch one space from the back of the square that you've just made and three spaces in the front. With this in mind, we're now going to make a 3x3 box with the polished andesite blocks. Now would be a good time to mention that this is probably the most used block I have in all of my Star Wars builds. I don't know why, for me the polished andesite brick just looks really nice. It kind of gives me that metal feeling, even though there isn't really a metal in Minecraft. I don't like the way that iron looks. So, if anyone's looking for a tip to build other Star Wars ships, this is definitely my most recommended block. Okay, when you finish building that box, on the front end of the engine, you're going to want to make an X. It should look like this. And then you should also use your polished andesite stairs to give it a rounded look. After doing this, you're definitely going to want to repeat the same step on the other side. I feel like that's kind of obvious, but, you know, I might as well include it anyway. Okay, so I'm just realizing that I probably should have fast-forwarded this because no one wants to see the same step twice, but I'm too far gone, so I apologize. Anyway, I will keep you entertained. For those wondering, my favorite Star Wars movie is Return of the Jedi, Episode 6 in chronological order, Episode 3 in release order, but I really do like Return of the Jedi. And for those that don't know, A Jedi's Fury is the theme that plays when Luke fights Vader, and I think it's highly underrated and is almost at the same tier as A Duel of the Fates. So, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you should definitely go look up A Jedi's Fury, uh, and then maybe add that to your Star Wars playlist. I would highly recommend. While Return is definitely my favorite, I have to say, I love all the Star Wars movies. If you haven't been able to tell by the sheer amount of things I've built in Minecraft, I love all Star Wars, including the sequels. Yes, they have flaws, but I do love them a lot. Uh, but feel free to let me know in the comments what your favorite Star Wars movie is. Okay, next you're going to want to grab the polished andesite stairs. From the four corners of the boxes that you've just made, outstretch about nine spaces long. While doing this on the bottom, make sure you're angling the stairs in the proper direction so that, you know, they give off the same look as the top. The idea here is to give it like a rounded kind of cylinder type look. As you'll see here, and as many of you probably already know, stairs are like one of the most annoying blocks to place in Minecraft. They never seem to go the right way on the first go. 
All right, so swinging around here, we're going to do the next two corners, fill it in just like we just did, and then I'm going to start to fill in or round out the back end of the engine as well. Okay, to finish the back end of the engine, you're going to want to grab your polished andesite blocks again, and one space out from the stairs you've just placed, create the same X formation you did on the front of the engine. So you'll see I actually do place a couple of extra blocks. That was a mistake, but I fix it right about now. So grab your stairs, make it look like this on both the top and bottom. Uh, I'm going to fly up as well, but you're going to want to fill in those spaces with blocks as well. Uh, as you'll see right here. So grab your blocks, fill in those spaces, and then break the center one. I do actually go through the whole process to build the other one on the other side as well. So if you don't want to see that, if it's too repetitive, just skip to the time frame of 6 minutes and 27 seconds. The engine on this side is literally the exact same thing as the one on the other side, but for anyone who's still here and did not fast forward, if you're wondering who my favorite Star Wars character is, it is Yoda. He has been my favorite since I first fell in love with Star Wars way back when I was a kid. Alright, the Y-Wing is pretty much finished. We're just going to add a couple of details to give it that, you know, extra nice look to it. Uh, we're going to add some blocks to the center of the engines here just to make sure that it's not completely dull. Uh, on the other side, we're going to add some, some stairs to give it a little bit of a, a flare on the back end. And uh, we're going to do the same thing on the other side as well. And feel free to add whatever details you think would look great as well, because this is just my idea. You could come up with one that's even better. All right, so now we're going to fly to the front of the engines and grab our light blue carpet. We're going to place it approximately right here. And then we're going to fly over to the other side and do the exact same thing. Uh, but while you're waiting for the next set of instructions, we're going to open up the inventory and grab some decorative pieces. Some railways, some sunlight detectors, and some end rods, some banners, and some iron trap doors. So this part of the build, I definitely took the most creative liberties. I wasn't really sure what the top part of a Y-Wing should look like. You know, all the paneling and the wires and stuff. But what I came up with was with some daylight sensors and some rails, I made it feel integrated. Like, the, the, I wanted the engines to feel cohesive with the frame, almost like a connected type look. So that, this is what I came up with. I do really like how it looks, and we're also going to use some blue banners to give it a wraparound paint job around the engines. In just a moment, we're going to do the exact same thing using some yellow banners to give our final coating of yellow paint on the front end of the ship. After this, there's not much left to do. We're going to take our daylight sensors again and add some more panels to the top end of the frame of the ship. You can place these however you'd like. I like to alternate them in a checkered type pattern. From here, there's only a few things left to do. Right now, we're going to take some blast furnaces out of the inventory, and we're going to place them right here in the center frame of the ship. You could probably use whatever block you'd like, but I really do think that the blast furnaces really look nice here. I don't really know why, I just think it's a perfect fit. Okay, now we're going to fly back towards the front end of the ship, and we're going to grab our iron trap doors. We're going to place them right about here, and I forgot to place them underneath, but we're supposed to put some stairs under as well. Angle the stairs upward so it gives it another round feeling. Now we're going to grab our end rods and add some cannons. You'll see that I added them in the wrong spot initially, but I do fix it like right away. Alright, after this last little fix, we have officially completed the Y-Wing in Minecraft. While my tutorial ends here, I know for a fact that there is a bunch of other details you guys could add to give it your own personal flares. Let me know in the comments what other cool features you guys come up with for this Y-Wing design. Thank you all so much for watching. My name is Casey. You may know me as Acer underscore Star Wars underscore Kacer on TikTok. And this has been my tutorial on how to build a Y-Wing in Minecraft. This was really fun to make and I definitely have more on the way. So consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. And before you leave, there is one other detail that I have to fix. I have to corner out this part on the engines right where the stairs meet the blocks. It was just too blocky. So we're going to corner it out right here on both the top and bottom. Okay, after this, we are officially done. Once again, thank you all so much for watching and may the force be with you all always.